Today's episode is dedicated to the channel member PVAT316. They say all fools worship the mighty Sediac. Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Mining Inc. Remastered. And guys, just before we do get into it, I guess do right now, we're, we're a sweet looking drone. Uh, did you know that there are hidden secrets in this game? Why is he saying this dude? Oh, really? <laughs> did you know that, guys? There was hidden secrets on the game. Well, we're going to find them all out, or at least try and find as many of them out as possible. So it's stuff from, like, developers hiding themselves or hidden characters even secret locations that you might not know about we're gonna try and find them all today so if you do enjoy this then please make sure you smash that like button down below and if you aren't around here too guys make sure you subscribe so if i miss any of the hidden stuff if you know of stuff that i don't even know about let me know in the comment section down below and we'll check it out at some point but uh, there is quite a few different things. Like I said, it's it's stuff from like hidden like people on the map, like the developers themselves. Uh, they've hidden me on the map. The secret areas, locations, and rooms as well. Um, and we're gonna try and find them all out today. So let's talk about the first one then. The first one is your boy, me. They hidden me on the map. Uh, pretty much everyone knows about this because I kind of did a video on it. But if you go over to the refinery. And go inside the building just over here. Uh, you'll notice your yeah boy is standing on the forklift right now. Standing, just chilling, loading up the truck, ready to be shipped off to make some sweet cash money moolah. It's pretty cool, is it? I mean, we all know about this one. If you've been past it, see me, didn't realize it was me, you're a damn fool. But if you do take a screenshot of it, I do retweet everybody who takes a screenshot and send it to me on Twitter. So make sure you go and do that. But that is the first one. I think I'll keep it basic, keep it simple for the first one. But then we'll move on to the second one then. So the second one is Dutch developer himself has hidden himself in the game. And it's quite a difficult one to kind of find him because you have to not do any parkour or anything like that. It's not crazy like that or anything like that. It's just you have to do a little bit something, something to try and find him. Now, I show you exactly where he is. What you've got to do is you've got to go behind the building here where you buy your vehicles. And you kind of got to run up the hill. He's kind of hidden in this big chunk of earth right now. And what's hilarious about it is... He's, um, he's doing a secret little pose. He's holding something pretty special. Well, at least the last time I'm icing it, he was holding something special. But let me just jump up right now. I'm going to need to make sure I got the right spot. Hold on, boys. I'm falling all over the place right now. Jump up, boy. Jump up. You got to jump over this and then run down. And there's a little crack right in the big rock thing here. So you got to look at this. It's like, why is this here? And I'll show you exactly why it's here. You've got to kind of come down here, fall down a little bit, and there's a little bit of a hole. There is a hole in the middle of the earth, the mountain. And you go inside, and would you look at this? It's your boy, the Dutch developer. He's got some sweet, 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 delicious Bloxy Cola. He's holding... Is that the... the um, which one is that right now? Is that, is that the... Um, I forgot what truck that is. It's the big boy one with the scoop. It's not the whisk, is it? Is that, is that what it is, the wisp one? I don't know, but he's got his uh, Robux kind of thing just jumping at him right now. He's just kind of hit himself right here, which is kind of weird. It's like he's just facing the wall. It's like this brings so many questions, doesn't it? It's like, why is he here? What is he doing here? And what does this all mean? If anybody's got any theories to why Dutch is hiding here, all on his own, facing this wall, let me know. Is there something going to be appearing here? Will something eventually unlock? Is he looking? Is he why is he waiting for? It's like he's waiting for something to appear here. Is it going to be a portal to a new area? I have no idea, but it definitely is like he's waiting for something. If anyone's got any ideas or any theories, let me know in the comment section down below. Because that one, that one's quite a creepy one, isn't it? 
It really is. But anyway, that's where Dutch is. Now, I think the remaining dev, uh, the dude who makes... Uh, um, what's it called? Oh, let me jump back up right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me jump back up, boys. Hold on. Uh, not the remaining dev, sorry. Hold on, let me get back to the top right now. Jump, 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 jump. The dude who makes all the stuff for the game. I can't remember his name right now. Let me see if I can quickly find it. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll tell you right now, guys, because I think the other developer, the dude who kind of creates all the stuff for it, he also uh, is hidden on the map. Now, is it the... You got the developer. It's not the moderator, is it? Uh, no. Uh, the owner... Oh, no, wait, wait. The owner's actually developer. Developer. Panda Dev. There we go. I knew I got it wrong. He's also hidden on the map. Now, I'm not quite sure where Panda Dev is currently hidden. If anybody does know, let me know in the comment section down below. But I kind of want to show you the next little secret. And it's more of a secret room. And there's somebody in there. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to spawn a vehicle because it's quicker to get there by vehicle than anything else right now. So, let me go spawn my vehicle. I think the mine's just reset as well. Spawn trucks. Don't really care which one, so I, I think I'll just take this one, my little forklift right now. So I can pick up some goodies when people are all finished. So what you do is, this, what's, this, what's this dude over here doing? You okay, boy? You okay? You come over to here, and I don't know if you've ever noticed... It's quite hard. Well, I say it's quite hard. It's so obvious, but it's quite difficult to notice because you kind of go past it all the time when you're dropping crates off. And you're not really looking at the side of the walls. But at the side of the wall down the tunnel, there is a little hidden room. Beep, 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 beep. Imagine you can press buttons and it will shut the door. Inside is like a little... I don't, mean, I don't know what this is all about over here right now. A new shipper's ride ready for loading. Uh, there's a dude just chilling. Who is this dude? You received 100 cash, so you click on him, and then you get a gift. It's the secret gift, dude. How crazy is that? That is kind of crazy, isn't it? So every day, every 12 hours, he gives you 100 cash money moolah by the, by the looks of it. That is just free, simple, easy cash right now. And it's just in a little random room, isn't it? Which is kind of cool. Uh, I can see, also you can now switch this over. I don't know if anybody noticed about that. You can switch it side to side so you can see clearly um, what what's going on. But don't you think that's kind of crazy how it gives you a hundred cash money moolah? Nobody knows what he is, what he does. Who? What is his name? Has anyone got any theory about this dude about what his name could be? Because he is also like the Dutch developer in that room. He's just standing here, waiting again. It's like, what is he waiting for? Why is there a cover here for a potential door to a tunnel? Is that something that could be coming very soon as well? Maybe does that tunnel eventually going to unlock and it goes somewhere? All these theories, boys, that potentially could happen. If anybody's got any ideas... Let me know in the comment section. I'll be really, really interested to see what you guys think about all these little theories and ideas and what could be. But um, we're trying it right now. So there uh, are the ones that I 100% know all about. And I always, every so often, every so often, right, something always appears in my comment section about there being a new theory, something new or something hidden, or i got to try and check this out. And someone is, I've always seen a comment of someone saying, said, yeah, there is something creepy going down where the cargo ship is and for the all this time I've, I've always kind of checked it out i've never really seen anything and i don't think there's anybody in the ship and i don't think you can actually get in the ship either um, so i want to see if i can find a few of these little comments that i've seen kind of sneaking around and kind of slightly debunk them so there is no one in the ship area we know that uh the much but it's one of those things it's like what, what what's really crazy is like dutch developer like he watches my videos and then if I say there's nobody in the ship area, you can probably almost guarantee next episode there's going to be someone in the ship area. That's always what happens, boys. So it's a little bit hard to kind of, you know, find things or see things uh, in the night time. But I want to see if I can kind of find Panda Dev. Now, I have a feeling if he was to be anywhere, 
he would be uh, on this side, but it's so dark right now. I mean, I can't stick a light down because we're not in the mine. But is he? Yeah, we can't go any higher up there. Would he be the same as uh, the Dutch developer, like kind of like hiding behind a rock somewhere? Hmm. I don't know, but I want to kind of check everything because you just never know. Oh, this gets very high, doesn't it? Okay, we can't go any higher around here. So we've kind of reached our limits. But it's that one of the things that you, you've got to keep... Oh, no, wait, I can go even higher on this side. Why can I go higher on this side? Are they trying to tell me something? Okay, I can't go any further up there. There's nothing on the roof of the... It's so dark, you can't even see. It's so freaking dark, boys, you can't even see. But can you make it and jump onto the roof? Ooh, you can. So I'm on the roof of the building, but there is nothing on top of it. But there is some pipes over there. What is that? I think it's a dude running around. It looks kind of scary, like a freaking ghost or something. I can't see anything there in, in the mist of things, in the depths. Uh, anything on these pipes? Nothing I can see right now. Let me just jump down and see how high I can... Oh. That looks like it dents in. Does it go anywhere? No, and I can't get any higher either. So I don't think there's anything hidden around these sides. Or at least I can't see it anyway. Oh, what's this down here, boys? It feels like it goes down, but it doesn't really go anywhere. That's kind of giving me false hope. And I can't see anything on this side. <gasps> I think I found him, guys. I think I've just found Panda Dev. See, I knew he was hiding somewhere, and we finally got him. So he is up here, your boy Panda Dev. Now, why is he over here? Yes, my name... No, wait, wait. That's not Panda Dev, is it? Yes, my name is Widgeon. Is that... It's not Panda Dev's old thing, or is that actually Widgeon? Because I know the original creator was Widgeon, of the original Mining Inc., but I don't know. That's actually a tough one, isn't it? Guys, this is this actually the widget? Let me type it in. I'm going to quickly type it in now on Roblox. Now, if that's widget, uh, which it is, it actually is, boys. So that's still not panda depth. So that's a little, you can tell, I already know the theory behind this one. This is just a little, like, kind of like a tip of the hat to the original creator of the game. Yeah, uh, you know, just kind of throwing it out there. So Panda Dev is still hidden somewhere else. And I have no idea where he could be. That's if he even is hidden anywhere. He still could not be. Now, if anyone's got any theories again, know of any secret rooms, any hidden stuff, let me know in the comment section. We'll go check it out. But the only thing that I haven't really checked is, well, properly... He's inside the refinery. Now, we know we send me in there, but we haven't really gone to the back of the uh, rooms, of the building, to see exactly inside in case he's hidden anywhere else. He could be working on a machine or something. And we just don't know about that. So let me just jump up. Let me just do the, the quick little run around. He's not over here. Or could it be up in the offices up there? I can see some office built rooms up here. Um, there is a forklift over there, which I don't think there's anyone on it. Let me just check for all of these. No. I'm going to jump up into the catwalk. And I think that'll be the... F that's, I mean, I don't think there's anywhere else I could potentially check, is there? I literally don't think there is. Let me jump over. Let me run up this and go up to the offices. See if there's anything secret or hidden up there. I mean, you could say that's its own secret room, but you really don't get anything inside of it. So, well, at least I don't know you do. Imagine if you did and I just didn't know. I can't believe he's got $100 of that other dude, though. It looks like there's nothing up here at the moment. But again, it's, it's like it feels like an unfinished room. What could happen here? 
Maybe there could be a thing where in the future you control the whole refinery. Like, there's got to be, you know, like how you need one dude to mine, one dude to haul, and then one dude to ship the goods. What happens if you need another job, a fourth job, where it's a dude in here who has to press buttons? Like, you press one button to start the conveyor over to the melting pots. Another dude has to press the button to get the conveyors down here to kind of convert that through. Uh, maybe there's a big window here where you could see through and press another button where another dude has to then get all these machines stacking up. And another button to then release the uh, kind of conveyor to put the crates on. So you had to control the finery inside. That... That would be a pretty cool job and add another aspect to the whole game. How crazy would that be? So that would be my next theory, which would be interesting. It's like to control this bit here, you have to run over and you actually have to press a button. Could you imagine that? That would be kind of dope, wouldn't it? Oh man, that would change the game so much. That would change the game so freaking much right now. But yeah, I think... <laughs> I'm about to say, I think I'm about to sneeze. And your boy just did. But if you've got any other theories, any other secret hidden rooms, or anything else I should check out, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.